Hi, this is Niels on Dynasty, coming to you live from the Dynasty's treasure room. Please like, share, and subscribe. Buy some silver and some platinum. Be kind, helpful, and grateful. And watch out for Airwolf or something similar. And this is what I'm talking about. Let me get the volume up. Equipment manufacturer in one stride. It's, it's nonsense to even think that a company of our size could. So the RAF put us together with Tallies because their behaviour with uh, SME uh, companies is, is excellent. So they, they knew to trust Tallies with us and we worked together. And in six weeks, we went from the idea to firing two missiles, having done all of the safety steps without a single uh, shortcut. Uh, we didn't fold space or anything you know, silly to... In six weeks... That went from paperwork to reality in six weeks. Notice, there's no humans in there. Make this happen. We went through every single regulatory and assurance step that there was so that it was completely safe. We don't alter the safety because we need to go fast. We, we go as fast as the safety will allow, but much faster than normal innovation processes. So we were able to build the two firing aircraft and get them to where the firing took place uh, and um, do the physical integration of the missiles into that platform and all of the other steps that were required to, uh, to fire the, the missile safely. You need a very agile airplane that's very lithe and light on its feet because it's a combat aircraft. It looks heavy, but it isn't, and uh, it's, it's quick and it goes a good old distance. And so um, it is agile and... Notice how he wasn't specific on any of that stuff. That means the Department of Defense is looking at this for purchase and they can't give away that type of information for national security. And if you look the wings on the video, you can't see the wings because we had to take them off for the, uh, for the firing um, because we'd used them on the uh, static firing to prove that no damage ever happened to them but we wanted to have more performance. We wanted less weight and the wings weren't serving any purpose in the hover. So we took them off to give us more performance in the vertical channel by removing the weight. Um, and that was because it was the first time we didn't know quite what the um, firing condition would do to the aircraft. So, you know, we'd modeled it and we modeled exactly what happened. Um, so that just validated that uh, assumption model. So, yeah, the wings are uh, essential to the aircraft's range. Um, and range is the metric, not endurance, when you're doing attack. The LMM gives us some unique operational capability that uh, makes Jackal more potent. Yes, we could fire other missiles and drop other missiles and drop other munitions, but we wanted to be able to perform a certain task, which is battlefield air interdiction, which is to go behind enemy lines um, to find, fix, uh, track and target uh, items of uh, enemy material that they don't want to lose. And if we can find it and, and mess it up, then they're going to pull it further back and then it becomes less relevant to the front line. Uh, their command and logistics chains are too long and they're overstretched because they can't risk their equipment that close to the, uh, to the battle. And so that buys time. And also it gives us the ability to um, sanitize an area uh, for future use by removing enemy um, assets before you know, our, our troops go there. The thing that I noticed from Ukraine is not about a small drone dropping a, a grenade through a turret. That, that's, it has applicability, but that's not what this is. This is a completely different animal. This is an aeroplane that can fly. That is a missile system that goes on an F-16 and it's on an unmanned drone. You guys don't need to be wasting any time with any, any more of this. I just wanted to bring that to you uh, in case you're wondering why we're, you know, lowering our number of military and whatnot. Uh, I believe that right there is a direct... Uh, consequence of Operation Desert uh, Storm.
where we had the air support going for like six months, destroying everything before Desert Sword occurred. Uh, with this technology, you could uh, put out a platoon with two of those, and they would be as efficient and effective as probably three companies with artillery backup, but faster and more mobile. So you basically take the three three companies with artillery, artillery backup and knock it down to one company with two of those, and you pretty much got the same thing going on. So you don't need as many people in the military, less lives at risk. Sheep are on VA. You guys have a nice night. Be kind, helpful, and grateful.